Aye, sitting, aye, fucking killer sitting there, aye. While people are pointing out and you're just letting people run away. Because they decide to straight chain stuff. Put that on your fucking YouTube. Oh, believe me, my salty Scottish friend, I'm about to. What is up everybody on YouTube, Ginger Gamer here, back with a very, very out of character video. I know I don't tend to do trolling content, but uh, I wasn't even trolling, I was just playing the game how it was supposed to be. But I apparently have been reported for trolling in Dead by Daylight by a said individual on Twitch, who you can see here on screen right now. His name is the Angry Scottish Gamer, and he is not very happy with me for trolling in Dead by Daylight, although I was just playing the game in the way it was intended. So, as you're going to see in a minute, we're going to run through the game and we're going to talk about set points where he is blatantly wrong about what is going on. Unfortunately, I don't have any of the gameplay footage from my perspective, but I do think it's one of those case scenarios where you don't actually even need my footage. You can clearly see that there's just a lot of salt. It's just pure salt, like a pile of salt coming out of this man. I don't mean any harm by him, I don't mean any targeting, but I generally want to share this experience with you guys because I think it is absolutely hilarious. So we're just going to hop straight into it now. Quick random tangent for this part of the video, um, basically if you hear like weird Steve grunts or screams, this is for some reason the audio this guy uh, plays during his streams, I'm going to guess it's a joke among friends. Otherwise, uh, I have no idea. I'm going to be completely honest. It's kind of strange, but I'm hoping it's a joke among friends. <laughs> oh, shit, I'm going to change the scene to that. I need to see my transitions working. I fuck right off. She knew I was in here. Fuck right off. I'm fucked. Ah! Bullshit. Okay, so to clearly start off, I'll admit it, this bugger has got off to a really bad start. Now, unfortunately, I did know exactly where he was, primarily because if any of you play on this swap map, you know that the crows go off on this building if anyone even goes remotely close to it. So, at the start of the game, I've seen the crows go off and thought, you know, I'll go check it out because I'm not over at that part of the map. So, unfortunately, yeah, I have bumped straight into him. Um, the chase has gone, like, pretty average. Admittedly, he's only had one pallet to work with and no windows, and I do feel bad on that part. But he's just, yeah, and the Kate... I've heard her coming with footsteps, so I, uh, you know, start not the best. I do feel bad, but um, we're just gonna continue from here and keep watching. Kate, you fucking potato man! Can you find the fucking vault? Oh my god! Maybe a fucking idea. Come on, Kate. Out of the way! Out of the way! Out of the way! Now, I just want to take this key moment to highlight something very important here. As you can see, the game has finally got into full swing. I've already got a bear trap on one survivor. I've hooked another. And in this time, um, as far as I could tell and as far as I could see from any point of view, there was no gen progress done whatsoever. 
they'd all decided to clump together, try to bum rush saves, and it's just, I just, you know, not really going well at all from a survivor point of view. And um, I want you to keep this in mind the whole time in watching the amount of times I hook um, Scott here, as I'm going to call him, short for Angry Scottish Gamer. How many times I hook him in this game, because we're going to look back at this point later. Get fucked, you fucking boot! Fucking tunneling fucking mess! Ah yes, the first accusation of tunneling. Oh, this is always a fun one. Um, for reference, I couldn't find anyone on generators at this point. It was very clear the survivors were very disorganised. So I decided to check the nearest jigsaw box to where I had down Steve, thinking he probably will go there as he wants to get rid of his bear trap ASAP. And I was right. I wasn't really tunneling. I was just going for a guaranteed spot that I'd know where a survivor was. <sighs> now, if you'd want me to accuse, uh, accuse me of tunneling here, where I clearly down Meg, who's already been hooked, that would have been fair. I would have understood that. From his perspective, it looks like I've gone after a previously hooked survivor. But he doesn't, he just focuses on himself, which you're going to find is a pattern throughout this gameplay. Fuck sick. Slugging for 4K, you fucking loser. Ah uh, yes, the slugging for a 4K meme. Well, it's not really a meme, it's just kind of the excuse survivors make whenever they get mad that you slug. Um, for reference, if you look in the bottom left hand corner, there is an obsession, and I'm not running an obsession perk. So, considering Meg had recently been hooked, as far as I was concerned, I wasn't going to go after her and hook her, because she probably had DS, which would be a waste of my time. Also, at this point, Kate is still flashlight camping, which is why I punished her for it by downing her. <sighs> Another example where he could accuse me of tunneling other survivors. As you've realised, Kate was the most recently hooked survivor and I've downed her. He could have accused me of tunneling here. It would have made sense. He wouldn't have seen what was going on at the time. But no, he proceeds to only accuse me of tunneling when it evolves around him. Who still at this point, remember, hasn't been hooked once. Kate, you fuck. Honesty, fucking God! These assholes are bringing the killer to me! Get fucked, you fucking boot. Don't really get how I got fucked there. You kind of wasted the pallet and I'd already got the hit in, but yeah, sure, you do you. Kate, she fucking there! I kill you fucking try that push again. <laughs> Fuck off, man. Gotta love that uh da 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 situational awareness right there from uh our guy here, Mr. Angry Scotsman, and how he clearly thought I was going to pull a fast one on him and instead ran straight into my loving arms. So, um, yeah, thanks for the free hit. <laughs> Fucking hell, man! Ah! Of course! This fucker's doing nothing, look! Oh my god!
Really? Right here, he could have again accused me of tunneling because I was hit with decisive strike, but no, because it wasn't him, he doesn't care. Um, don't get me wrong, I know solo queuing as a survivor is an absolute nightmare and it is painful, but still, you could have called me out for tunneling by seeing me getting decisive striked. Now, what Elodie did was quite smart. She crouched inside of me, so I couldn't see the direction she went in, so I couldn't make a judgment. So instead of wasting time chasing her, I clearly had a survivor down on the ground about five feet away from me, so I was going to hook them. But according to our Scottish friend here, apparently I was working with a survivor and tunneling. Really? Ladies and gentlemen, the DC, the salt, the sodium, it's strong with this one. And not only that, he reported me as well. Look at what he had to say on my behaviour. Want me to kill a ginger gamer, YT? Exploits. Rage quitting, participate in normal play. Trolling. Working with survivor. Pointing to come get me. Who's a scumbag? Oh, I absolutely love this part because he realizes um, that I am actually a YouTuber and he Googles my YouTube channel or clicks a link on my Steam bio and you can hear my intro in the background because he's connected his entire PC audio to what I'm presuming is his uh, capture software. As a quick side note as well, the LED in game who he claims I was working with is not on my Steam friends library, firstly because they weren't even playing on the same platform as me and secondly, I didn't know them at all. They're not on my friends list, I'm not associated with them, and as you can tell when he was spectating, was slugged on the ground while I went to look for the Meg that I clearly knew had a red key. I will see these fucking tweets comments off. Fucking ginger game on my ass. Bet he picked that swamp. I love that he tries to begin to make up excuses as to why he's lost or, well, lost his temper and quit because um, he accuses me of picking the swamp, which ironically I brought actually bloody party streamers so everybody was going to get a bonus BP boost, but obviously our friend here didn't because he rage quit. <laughs> Oh, and Wang is away after that game, fun, funnily enough. Probably that fucking killer. Right, who else is in this fucking list? Oh. Aye, sitting, aye, fucking killer, sitting there, aye. While people are pointing out and you're just letting people run away. Because they decide to strike you and stuff. Put that on your fucking YouTube. Oh, believe me, I will have fun making content out of this, and especially your reactions, as survivors like you are the reason I play Killer. You know, you think it's your god-given right that the Killer should be some kind of brain-dead AI that doesn't know how to loop, doesn't know how to win, doesn't know how to have feelings, and is just there for your amusement, but in reality, mate, you know, GG, I won, simple as. <laughs> <laughs> No doubt you're the one that picked the fucking swamp, I know. Listen, if survivors are pointing to people when you go get them, they're going to get fucking DC'd straight away. You probably camped that gate. 
Nah, the Kate just kind of killed herself on hook because she was salty, just like you when you DC'd for no discernible reason other than the fact that I damaged your pride. And, um, yeah. Yeah, just salt because she couldn't get a epic flashlight save to put in her montage. Uh, That's how you make fucking YouTube uh, content. Uh, uh, Try to make yourself uh, look good uh, with fucking montages. Actually, check your channel with... <laughs> Thanks for the views. And um, yeah, I do make montage content, but I do make other stuff as well. You know, like the, the first video that would have popped up on your recommended would have been the advertisement for the drunk live stream or the Undertale video or. Oh, wait, what are those? Yeah, none of them are montage videos. I don't get what I've done wrong. <laughs> NGL, what the fuck does NGL mean? Maybe we done not do wrong. You're fucking totally and half hooks. Try to slunk. So what the fuck do you mean you don't know what you've done wrong? Look, I, I get it. You have every right to be mad at your teammates. But to attack me, you have literally no point. Um, I was decisive striked and I didn't chase her after decisive striking me. It's almost like that would have wasted more time than just simply hooking you to force them to come rescue you instead. But, you know, I guess clearly from what you're saying, you don't play much killer. Although I could be wrong, but from what I've seen, you mainly play Survivor. So, you know, I play Survivor, and admittedly I'm red ranked for both Survivor and Killer, so I know how it is on your side of the fence. I feel for you, your teammates are awful, but as I've said, you really had no ground to stand on when it came to attacking me. Slug me, I get up. The minute you're not gonna lie. Mate, you're fucking sitting slugging, and then you're tunnelling half hooks and you're tunnelling at fucking machines. So don't talk pish. Yes, because nobody was on a gen. You were either too busy going to jigsaw boxes because you had traps on your head, or you were healing and wasting time when you could have been doing generators to force pressure onto me. But as per usual, I'm the bad guy because I'm doing what a killer is supposed to do and kill survivors instead of standing in the corner and waiting for you all to take bear traps off so you can all then get on gens and, you know, actually play the game and do the objective and maybe stand a chance of winning. Scummy as fuck gameplay, that's what's fucking wrong. That's how the case went, get him to fuck. <laughs> then you've got fucking people pointing as I'm crawling away because of the size of strategy and you left them to go hook me. Fuck right off, never could sitting at the corner doing fuck all anyway. Right, I'm going to repeat myself real quick. I went to pick you up after she decisive strike me because I would have wasted time chasing a survivor when someone else could have come and got you up. By putting you on the hook, I forced people to rescue and not focus on the objective. It's called micromanaging and making sure I don't get gen rushed, although at that point in the game you'd probably already lost because she'd had a rage quit, as well as a Meg who was hiding in a locker waiting for Hatch, but I had no idea at that point, and at the end of the day, I was only doing what I should have done to win. So that's an automatic working with a survivor mate and you get reported for it. <coughs> I'll be doing a personal report or not. I wasn't juggling you all because you were all clustered together. Don't talk pish! You were still tunnelling people off hooks to me sh- Ah yes, I tunnelled you off hook. Although you rage quit before you could even be hooked for the first time. She did tell me and whatnot, and vice versa. But she's what I did that fair play mate, the fucking rank system's a fucking mess. And these halfwits are getting a fucking easy ride. Dane fuck all. And people with me who's actually trying to do fucking gens. But no, you'd rather fucking tunnel me off the hooks at the machines, go on to do the gens, but you will be willing to go look for somebody that's fucking sit about doing fuck all. Then you're working with arseholes that are pointing at other survivors, that's where you fucking went wrong. So you think I'm going to give you points for that? Fuck right off. I'm starting to get a real sense of entitlement from this dude. Like, he f seems to feel like the whole match that previously just happened revolved around him, whereas he was just a massive footnote in it because he DC'd before I could even hook him once. And at the end of the day, he claims that I bought him survivors who were pointing and not helping. Mate, I didn't even know who the fuck they were. I killed them. They all died, as you can clearly see by the screenshot of the end game here. No one got out. Meg was sat in a friggin' locker underneath the main building waiting for Hatch to spawn. 
And if I get pulled for that, get a uh, DC and I'm going to be saying to them, where are the footage? Oh, please tell them to go back to the footage, because they will clearly see how much of a salt deposit you were and how you weren't really justified in being annoyed or rage quitting. Because all you did was complain and play badly and just throw your toys out of the pram when I really did nothing wrong. I fucked that up. <laughs> Take the pallet, big boy. Oh, I fucked up. I deserve that. I deserve that. Oh my god, these assholes with flashlights, man. They've no got a fucking clue. But I deserve to get caught there. I deserve that. You know, I'm kind of triggered by the last fucking game, you know? Thought I'd leave this spicy clip here real quick to show you guys of our friend here and his looping capabilities. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I need to ask you all, please do not attack this man or send any hate of any kind. I know that my subscriber base is dwarfed by his Twitch following, but I still need to say this because I don't want a bunch of SJWs attacking someone. I just wanted to share this with you today because admittedly, I found this whole situation absolutely hilarious. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Keep an ear out for the next Drunk Livestream um, update dropping roughly within this week because the Drunk Livestream is going to have to be this week. If you're new to the channel because you've come across this because the algorithm's been nice to me and decided to promote a video, or you've come across from, you know, the Twitch and, you know, you've come to see why I'm, you know, personally pointing out the flaws in this guy's gameplay, by all means subscribe if you like what you see, leave a comment on what you thought. Maybe you could point out something to me that I didn't notice in the gameplay, but thank you for your time. Thank you all for watching and please like, and if you're new, like I said, please subscribe. I'm pushing really hard this year to grow, but you know how this goes. I've been the Ginger Gamer, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys.